So in this video, uh, we will calculate for the required return rate, required rate of return on the stock or R, RE. So remember that the security market line or SML provides the relationship between risk and required rate of return. So for to calculate for this, we will use this formula where RRE for the required return rate of return on the stock is equal to your RF, which is the risk-free rate. This compensates for the compensate investors for the time value of money. Plus, you have to calculate for this first. So this would be the your RRM is your market risk premium, hence the M there, which is the return expected from the market above the risk-free rate minus your risk free rate. And once you have the difference of this, you multiply it by your beta coefficient. So the beta is the relevant risk, uh, which is measured by, uh, by your beta. It is the risk of one investment relative to the portfolio. And so let's look at an example here where um, this example, where we assume the risk free rate is 5%, the required rate of return on the market portfolio is 15%, the reported beta for a manufacturer is 1.5. So under the capital asset pricing model, the required rate of return on the stock for the manufacturer is, for step one, let's uh, confirm what we know. So RE is unknown or RF here is 5% or the risk free rate or RRM or the required return on the market is equal to 15% and your beta is 1.5. So to calculate for your RRE, it is RR, um, RRE plus RF plus all of this, which is so your, R, your RRM is 15, our RF is five multiplied by 1.5 and you get five plus 10 plus uh, times 1.5 equals to five plus 15 equals your 20 or 20%. Alternatively, you can also use the actual decimal point because we know that RF here is 5%. So you can use uh, place is 0. Point, uh, the percent decimal values, which uh, to avoid confusion for some people. You can also do this this way, you will arrive at the exact same solution. So we're just replacing here the uh, with the correct decimal spaces, right? and you'll get the exact same solution. And this should give you this value here. 